Whoa, welcome back to the first departure. Let us rest for a little while. Yes, we're going to take a short break from the action and do some private actions. Well, it was about time, so... Yeah, and of course, uh, he needs a break, too. Have you had your break today? Um, I had, uh, limit breaks, bravery breaks, and EX breaks today. But no McDonald's, because you know who needs McDonald's, you have limit breaks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, actually, no, this is the first of three PAs that um, triggered the Ron and Celia ending. In order to get these PAs, you must have have, must have Mavelle in your party before she leaves. Magnificent Millie? What? Hey, hey. Let's see. The thing troubling you the most is Ronix and Mavelle, am I right? What? No, no, not at all. It's, it's just that the really? captain seems so concerned about Mavelle all the time, and it's like, you know, kind of strange. Don't take it the wrong way, it's just strange, that's all. It's just strange, that's you all. <laughs> you see yeah. him drifting away, even though you really care about him. <laughs> well, woman knows. Well, I'll admit the captain's a pretty attractive man, and Mavelle's pretty charming herself. Normally, she wouldn't say those kind of things to a bad another woman. Her sense of style is perfect, and she's kind to everybody. But of course, Billy idolizes her. I to her myself, you know. <laughs> Elias forced to agree. You're right. Even as a woman, I have to admit that she's pretty impressive. Hmm. Thank you, Square Enix, for spawning yet another Charms thousand fanfics. Uh oh. Charm. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about, Millie? <laughs> My own charms. Considering that uh, she's, no, yeah. No, that's not what I meant. Listen, I'm not trying to get anywhere with the captain. All right. Oh, really? Sure, you're not. You're as red as a beet, Ilya. You're burning up, girl. <laughs> anyway, yeah. In order to get the PA, you must have Mavelle and Ronix in the party. And in order to trigger the next PA, you got to go to Trop, I believe. I didn't see the camera. I didn't see that. <laughs> Ironic. <laughs> and Oliver, in order to get the final PA, you must have gotten the Eye of Truth. But I don't show that PA because otherwise that would screw over my ending. Shroomish? That can't be right. <laughs> Shroomish? Oh no, since when did we get into Pokemon? I, I haven't liked Shroomish, especially its evolution. Poison Heal plus Toxic Orb? I actually used Brain Loom to solo the uh, uh, White Prince 2 Elite Peter 4. Very nice. Oh, what? I call this PA a tail with a twist. Oh, sorry. Well, that was awfully rude. I guess it's better than We're Tale of Two Kitties, but anyway. <laughs> that, that was my other choice. We all got our own little <laughs> nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something on your mind? It's about your tail. Huh? I was just thinking about what it would feel like if... Ronix, you what? have the... <laughs> Ronix, what? Okay. Um... What? what? Don't say stuff like that. Are you trying to embarrass us all? <laughs> you know, Jack, you've got no way of saying that. He <laughs> didn't seem to mind too much when Elia was doing it. Yeah. Uh, I... uh, I'm not <laughs> We're her, not okay? touching that with a hundred foot pole. <laughs> yeah, it does be learned Ronix has an obsession with felt pool tails. Makes me wonder if you checked it. You know what? No, 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 no duodecim right now. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, I should mention that, that also we would explain, uh, well, the reason why uh, Ronix later um, gets a dog. And he names him Ronick. Oh, jeez. This is mentioned in um, Second Evolution in a p private action. Those earrings there are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I remember this oh, PA. Oh, except this is the Millie version. <laughs> yes, this is the Millie version. Uh oh. Oh no, he's gold juggling now. God help him. Uh. Oh. That's a dangerous prospect Ooh, right there. Beautiful. Were these what you were talking about? And here's Elia representing the shipping community. <laughs> hey, isn't there something you should be doing? <laughs> huh? Give him the Millie. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait a sec. Hmm? Yeah. Then you gotta go to Batman and actually ask about the earrings, and uh, if you can actually talk to him, stupid. There we go. <laughs> They're dirt cheap anyway. <laughs> well, that's just. That ruins the whole moment. Thanks for telling us that. Thank you, Roddick. Oh, 
I'll take good care of them. Okay. Eh, there she goes. Now, why can't it be that easy in real life? I didn't just say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm goofing. I'm goofing. Man, this is tiring. <laughs> Tell me about it. Hey. At that age, are you trying to say something, Ilya? Considering that she may have had that happen to her when she was a cadet at the academy. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I think a lot of boys um, in the academy would have been um, intrigued to go out with a girl as intelligent as her. And I kicked that much ass. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, there, yeah, there is a remix of this in Last Hope, and, uh, this track is very upbeat. Anyway, yes, obviously, as you can tell, in, during private actions, your party is split up throughout the town that you're in. Something that would become pretty common with that series, I'd say. Yep, she's actually in a good mood. And, oh, a mining, it breaks the mining industry, but it's gone downhill ever since the mine was shut down. Thanks for that, Ashley. And now, oh boy, <laughs> a tale with a twist, part two. Crazy, everyone in town has monkey tails on them. Oh, or, monkey tails. or a tale to kitties, part two. <laughs> Get it right, bitch, cats, not monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> huh? Speaking of which, I just noticed you don't have a tail, Lavelle. Uh... Um, uh-oh. Gee, I guess to be a captain, you don't have to take classes in sensitivity. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Tails, huh? What are you thinking about? Oh, the fur on it would look great? Uh, That's not the direction I was expecting him to go, but the direction, oh. I, the direction I was expecting would be copyright unfriendly, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um. He didn't have cat ears either. What's going on in that mind of his? Is he <laughs> you don't want to know what's going on in the mind of Captain Mincy. I mean, Captain... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he a closet furry? Or he's a furry lover? So, how's this sword grab you? Straight from the finest... This again? But Ash world. Ashley, he's not fooled. Sir, he ain't fooled nobody, pal. think I am? Some kind of blithering idiot? <laughs> don't give me that finest blacksmith nonsense. You actually think someone would be boneheaded enough to buy this worthless hunk of metal? I'd say yes. <laughs> if someone really is that stupid, I'd like to <laughs> say congratulations, you're an idiot. <laughs> well, he's right. Well, Ashley, he's on your right. <laughs> Ashley, either way. Oh, hello, Roddick. Something the matter? Oh, no, no, he's insulted my intelligence, that's all. I'm all good. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't think you lose affection level points. I won't stand for another moment of it. This Eastern nonsense. I know you're not apt enough not to fall for deceptions like these. I just gonna need to be a smart kid. Uh, don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> He's like, uh, I can't run a business with these people running around. And thus, every time you leave, then you are reminded of your objective. Yep. That way, in case you forget what you're doing, then you, um, you'll know what to do. Which, oddly, was not included in Star Ocean 3. Weird. Anyway, I always wondered about that. Anyway. For some reason, we cannot do PAs in Portmouth until we uh, visit the, the castle. This goes for every other castle we have yet to visit. And, in this castle, this castle is a dungeon! What? Like any good castle we should have. <laughs> but it's not the dungeon. It's not the dungeon you're thinking of. The uh. Please, wait one moment. It's actually, uh, well, the minister will explain. This is what? So is you guys are what? Like Triplets? Actually, quadruplets, actually, because there's four ministers, My one for each minutes. castle, and they all look the same. Yeah. My thanks to all of you. Oh, RPG logic. Then. They all look the same, but not being the slightest bit related. <laughs> At least they have different voices. To be frank, uh, that's something at least a little less lazy. A problem here inside Mua Castle. Oh, for whatever reason. Oh, I knew it was monsters. It's always monsters. Treasury. But it's it's the treasury. The treasury has been barricaded, but we need a more permanent solution than. Oh yes, I should know. In this part, we actually get to see an example of item creation. Anomaly for us. 
Oh, the course, joys of item creation. Help, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. You will find several powerful weapons and pieces of armor inside the treasure. Awesome. You may if you can get them to them. If necessary, oh. but we do ask that you return them to the what? after dealing. <laughs> you may only borrow them. You're not worthy to take them. Oh, I'll find that. I guess keeping them would be too much to ask. Yeah. We can have that for reward thank instead of anything else. <laughs> well, and anything else we collect in terms of items, we can keep. But here's a trick. Of this is the place. Of the weapons you you can get, you can inside. use them so for item creation, and you don't have to give them back. Because you don't have them, you still you don't have them still to give them back, and they just don't seem to care or notice. <laughs> exactly. Game logic and its finest. Good lord. Luxurious sword. It's a nice sword, I'm sure. <laughs> it is. Actually, we're gonna play orchestra. Oh god, probably the most overpowered ability in it starts from one or two. Okay, like That's Sword all. combined with uh, Damascus com com creates Dueling Sword! Hmm. A, a great improvement over the, uh, well, over the um, Sword of Marbles by a factor of 500. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot duplicate the Dueling Sword. Nope, can't. And oh yes, I should mention. During this time, I actually went and uh, did a lot of item creation in terms of getting armor. Including using a magical rasp. As you can tell, I got Sylvan Mail. Ooh, 1200 attack power. I that is definitely a nice sword. Sylvan Mail, I believe, prevents petrification and halves fire, wind, and dark damage, I believe. Damn. So it's very good to have. Luxurious Rod. There are two of these rods and two of the Luxurious Swords. You want to, if you're gutsy enough, you can, you should save before you uh, do customization. Unfortunately, I use orchestra because for a reason. Millie does not have a, a originality on her, so I was at disadvantage. I lose one of the rods. See? Oh. Uh, orchestra is a hundred percent. Damn. <laughs> but mind soother. Combine with another with a any kind of jewel. Scepter of the money. Oh, uh, great. And... Waited too oh, long. That was oh, lovely. my lord. Rod of the I don't feather. believe it. Rod of the Feather. And it worked. It's like... I don't believe it. <laughs> anyway, this is a great weapon to use. Increases the magic by 600. Yeah, look at that magic. That's good. Well, we're get we should get that to Yoshua in front of me. Try and being... Let's see. Rod of Jewels. Give her a slight defense boost. Oh yeah, she's also, she's also wearing some mithril mesh. Yes, yes I'm gonna use Parichi in this dungeon. Mithril mesh. Oh, water, wind, and fire. Ha half damage from that. Let's see, what else do I have? Ooh, sacrificial idols. These are those are great. I think you you create sacrificial idols from crafting with diamonds. And in Star Wars 3, you can buy them, but they're expensive. <laughs> yep. Sacrificial idols revive you with a marginal amount of HP after you're killed. And if they're not destroyed, they have all elemental damage. Very good to have. Yeah, it's better so than it's dying, fun. that's for sure. Stay focused. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. Oh. Shadow Bolt. I, I don't like those kind of attacks that always stall you. Yeah. Shadow, shadow punch being one, shadow bolt rather being one of them. <laughs> That's cute. She summoned cats to her aid. Don't overestimate your skills, you. I'm your point man, people. Cool. And I believe in this. I believe in this dungeon. He also learned shadow flare. Probably possibly one of his strongest spells. Well, it is shadow flare. And of course, With a name like that, you can't go wrong. And of course, he's the only character who can use it. Since no one else has dark type symbology. And speaking of dark types, we still don't have a dark type gym in Pokemon. We still don't. Five generations. Come on, Game Freak, get on it. it they better have one in Gen 6. Thunder Cloud. Uh. Thundaga? No, oh, God. <laughs> Let's not bring lightning into this. We already summoned okay, Thunder. <laughs> oh, damn. Poke. <laughs> no, that is Nether's micro poke. We're at a roll now. Excellent. Am I uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. She did not just say that. Yes, she did. 
<laughs> oh, speaking of which, the feline sugar fire technique. <laughs> yeah, I guess she has gotten sexier. Uh, unfortunately, after this place, I hardly used her ever again. I, th I figured I'd give her a chance in this dungeon. Let's see. What else, uh, what else can I give her? Effort? Oh, it's almost like that. It's a damn shame. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, I rarely ever use Parigi in battle. She could be like the less useless version of Pierre, just there for the, uh, for the comic relief. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chrono Cross, why did you give us a uh, wimpy swordsman like him the hero medal? But then Frog does not approve. <laughs> then again, without Parigi, we cannot have, uh, we cannot have the bunny whistle. And, you know, we're, we're not going to give up. Come on, Bunny. Of course. That is, after all, the name of this part anyway, so I kinda, that's kind of a giveaway. <laughs> Indeed. Luxurious armor. Eh. Man, all this luxury equipment. It's amazing. Too bad. We have to give it all back once we're done. But also, it, didn't but, destroy an item creation anyway. Yeah, I, well, I did use item creation to make my armor already. Uh, what else can I do with this stuff? Okay, aesthetic design. Anything else? Eye for detail. Ooh, blacksmith and customization leveled up. Yeah, I already stocked on medicine bottles and resurrection elixir, so uh, you're going to get that message of, unfortunately, you can't carry anymore. <laughs> get used to seeing that. Okay. Uh, what else we have? Oh, more effort from Ronix. Pace and speech, trance. She definitely needs trance, considering that he lacks magic boosting equipment. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's his drawback. Age without magic boosting. Wow, that's damn. <laughs> well, I guess his weapons don't boost his magic. Oddly enough, uh, only um, Melly and Yoshua and our other another party member have that. Luxurious. Oh, we have another luxurious sword. And Jeez, luxurious. Good enough. <laughs> and one more luxurious rod as well. All right. Here goes. Gotcha. All right. Come on. Come on. Don't screw me over. Scepter of the bunny. Anything else? Mine too. This time it worked. Oh, uh, maybe not. Denied. Oh, I'm still not giving up. I still have one more, two more rods to use. Oh, and I'm all, oh, actually, we also do this. If you have enough iron and if you have the right stuff, you can uh, use alchemy to create as many raw materials as you want in terms of the minerals. Yes, but you can't use them to bring back a human to life. It's called the law of equivalent exchange. <laughs> anyway. Wrong, wrong series. <laughs> yeah. of the money. Let's play it. Let's... Okay. Ooh, what's this? Damascus. Yeah. So yeah, folks, this is your example of item creation and how it can break the game. Oh. This is fraught with failure, people. Wait till you play Star Ocean 3. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Oh, anyway, right of jewels. Fail. Orchestra, why you betray me? <laughs> then again, she also lacks the talent. Oh well. What's that? Above us. We've been ambushed. It's an ambush. That's what that is. Oh great! I think. Those... Oh paralysis. I hate paralysis. Yeah, isn't paralysis death in one and two? Well, I mean, death in the sense that if everyone's paralyzed, you're done for. Yeah. Yeah. Which was not the case in Star Wars 3, so that threw me off the first time. Flare! Kaboom! I'm sorry, what were you trying to say before I interrupted you? Oh, I'm sorry, I was saying that uh, the fact that paralysis is came over in this game, and one and two threw me off, because three, that's not the case. So I was like, what? <laughs> down, kitty. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Billy just learned fairy healing! 
And what's in here? Oh. Not to be confused with Fairy Light Star Ocean 3, which is not as good, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> well, actually, Billy does learn Fairy Light. It's just in Star Ocean 3, the, there's a tiny little problem with the fact that it, it has a delay on it. It's like, fairy, fairy healing, and then pause, pause, pause. Oh, finally, it heals. <laughs> just take long enough, sister! <laughs> No, don't get me wrong, I love Star Wars 3, I'm just saying it does have its its quirks. It's moments of, uh... I guess that's any RPG, so... The Bagua secret fighting technique. This is for Elia. So now she gets an upgrade. I believe this works in conjunction with the uh, Four Beasts secret fighting technique. Where those techniques can be augmented with that. Yes, I imagine you use group of rising, I believe, and as well as creature or Baji, so that I can re restore more as HP and MP with herbs. Always useful, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's see. Blackberry, see what I mean? Indeed, very useful. Some it, cre it turns them from like a 20 to 22 percent re restoration to like a 50 percent as re HP and MP restoration. Can't yep. argue with healing. Yep. Yeah, this the treasury is very straightforward. Okay. Power dance, healing dance. Who do you think she is? She is Pepita. <laughs> Subtle fuck I'm playing Star Ocean 3 again. Dances, uh, oh my god, dances. <laughs> uh. As long as they don't give her invincibility frames too, because that's that'd be really broken. Again. Actually, there is a lesser lesser fell pool pl that's playable in The Last Hope. And you actually encounter her in Spoilers in an alternate reality Earth. Yeah, it's, I know it's kind of strange. Considering the plot twist Starship Three, not as as strange as it could be, but wow, oh. that'll be interesting when I finally play it. Mm -hmm. Oh mm -hmm. God, a succubus! Oh, if she's not Morgan, she's not awesome. All of it. Tell the king I mean, for being a succubus, I say Morgan actually has, you know, good within her. However, this one can just die. <laughs> yeah, but she has a lot of health for some reason. Gee, I wonder if that's saying something. Anyway, <laughs> never mind. This looks bad. Sure looks Great, seven oh, come on. Uh, Release pounds, I guess. Ronix, wipe them out! And they are down. Oh, well, not yet. They, they'll go down easily. Hadouken! Ooh! Yes, I gave Roddick the combo link. And I like Dragon more, so... Oh, we get a much better move later. Oh, and I'm just saying, it's uh, because Star Trek 3, I like Dragon more. <laughs> well, the hounds have been um, euthanized. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Bob Barker always told us have your pets spayed or neutered, so we took care of that for you, Succubus. <laughs> I need <a> spirit strike. <laughs> nice. I just love when they keep interrupting their own quotes. Yes. Stunlock, stunlock. Oh. <laughs> it's the zero damage. <laughs> it's Succubus scraping time. <laughs> but yeah, she is wearing uh, armor that gives plus 500 defense. And the other two are just standing there like, yeah, you know, we know you got this covered, so we'll just wait a while. <laughs> Constant of Star Flare. Now, <laughs> for potential weakness damage. Oh, and for the finish too. <laughs> he was waiting. He wanted to steal the kill. <laughs> Why not? Ring of Happiness. Well, way to go, Parichi. Was the treasure really all she wanted? Or was she looking At least she didn't try to do it Ultra B style. Well, oh, way, we're, oh. Like that'd be a little awkward coming from her. Yeah. Let's report back to the minister. The castle guards can take care of the rest. Oh wait! Sounds good. Not yet. There's still something back there. Yeah, we're we're not that uh, ungenre savvy or whatever. <laughs> when we see a door, you go through it. Bring <laughs> happiness. Uh, it's rather blah. It's Billy only. I remember getting a couple of those in Star Wars 2 and just selling them. I couldn't find a use for them. Oh, <laughs> well, they do boost. They did boost Raina's magic by a slight amount, but yeah. Other than that, I yeah, give her a plus ten um, magic, I suppose. But I'm like, nah. I, I get rid of it later. 
I think we plus 10 magic. Yay, I could replace that easily. <laughs> Those 10 minerals, they're, they're 10 pebbles. Yeah. Oh, I believe that's an emerald ring. All right, uprising, what do we got? What is it? Okay, if, maybe if it's not, a, <laughs> if it's not, I, what is it? it is, oh, wait, oh wait, it's a ring of mental power. Oh, nice. MP regen. Well, we're gonna give that to somebody. Who are we gonna give it to? For I, I, use, I use the hell out of those in Star Ocean 3 because MP regen is very nice. Yeah. Yeah, actually, for, I'm gonna give it to Ronix for, for, for the time being. Fortunately, unlike the Mind Ring in um, Second Evolution, it does not have an elemental um, weakness. Yeah, because th those aren't nice. Yeah. I, those are not useful. Those are not cool. I hate those. Yeah. And we also get, uh, later on, we get an accessory that has a MP cost. The Fairy Ring. Yeah, not just a third, but one half. It's very nice. Yep, and so unless I give it to... Uh, I give it to somebody. I think I give it to Roddick. Well, considering that the killer move he he gets later... It's, uh, let's just say... It's, 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 I'd say it's probably more broken than Dragon Roar. <laughs> oh, I should note, there is no one with the Adaral Sword style that's playable in The Last Hope. Last Hope broke tradition. I mean, in, oh, this, damn. in this game, we had uh, Cius, Ashley, and Roddick using the style. In Second Evolution, Claude was the representative. And in Star Ocean 3, Albel was. Hmm, maybe that's part of what I liked about Albel. <laughs> but, but that, that, well, he did have the, sort of the same fighting style that the, those previous four had. And he had that lovely, spammable, short-range uh, minor attack. Ching, 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 just dance all day. <laughs> It's the endless combo! Oh my god, stop that Albel Madman! Anyway... Thank you for slaying that monster. Please, take this as a sign of our thanks. Now give her shit back, please. Oh, fine. A thousand full, 200 skill points, and a hammer charm. And if you'll pardon me, I must ask for the weapons and the armor... Uh, not sure about the weapons, but I'll get back the armor. Now please, Sad face. <laughs> proceed to the throne room. The king is waiting. Ah, now we can get um, his piece of information. And he's a pompous uh, British guy. Ah, so the emblem bearers have finally. Or should I say a French guy? Or one of the Minister, two. Take the guards out of the room. Mm, he strikes me as being f more French than anything. Huh. The, except without the accent. If he starts talking about pigs and truffles, I'm out of here. <laughs> First, allow me to thank you for clearing out the treasury for us. He looks more human than Felpul. are mere minions. I believe the palace guard can handle them well enough. You have my most sincere appreciation. All right. It was nothing, sir. Moving on, then. Ah, the history. Granted, the history surrounding the Eye of Truth. History, Your Majesty. Yes, it's really more of a legend than anything else, but still a history. Mm, is... I believe it to be the story. Ah, of the about the Mua. The Mua, in other words. Oh, this ought to be good then. A long time ago, when we and the rest of the world were still in infancy, the eye was obtained in order to reveal the true huh? path back to paradise. The eye the promised failed land? to see the door to paradise. <laughs> However, in its place, it saw a door of blasphemy. Must have been made by fangirls. Oh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the world. By the time the door was closed, the land was already near death. All we could do was lament our mistake. We had no healing the spells. The eye now sleeps, guarded oh. by the three goddesses within the Temple of Purity. Uh, hmm. The true path back to paradise? What in the world could that mean? We were kicked out of the Guardian, so now we need to go back? Certain. Sounds good to me. But the, we tried to decipher the message, but, but the thing about the three uh, goddesses and a temple of purity, that However, that sounds familiar. Hmm, couldn't be Legend of Zelda. No. No, I've taken more along the lines of the runes in the Purgatorium. No, I'm sorry, I was just thinking of, you know, three, power, wisdom, courage, and all that. Anyway. Blasphemy. So the Mu'a weren't deliberately trying to open a door to the demon world, your highness? Exactly, it was an accident. 
like many other great things in history. <laughs> theory, yes. Either way, the full truth will not be revealed until someone procures the Eye of Truth. And he's right about that. Man sleeps guarded by three goddesses in the Temple of Purity. You don't think that would be the Purgatorium, do you? Hmm. That has to be it, and those three goddesses must be the room. Wow, you're you're sharp. I have told you all I know. I want you to take this. I look forward to hearing good news. Don't bother giving me bad news. Thank you. <laughs> it said give me another badge. Well, it's not the red badge of courage, but I guess it'll do. Eh, uh, well, I wonder how many more we need to enter the league. Oh, wait, we need, oh, we need one more as opposed to five more. I mean, if any of them is the Fire Emblem, I'm giving up now. That it sounds like too hard of a game series for me to mess with. <laughs> Permanent death? Oh, man. I'm too spoiled by RPGs where you can revive people. <laughs> Same here. Anyway, let's go do something. Let's do some PA more PAs. Yeah, that's enough plot. Let's get to the private actions again. Yeah, until we get back to Astral. And in part 13 is also where we have to see my goodbye to Mavelle, actually, because as good as she is, she's actually a temp. Anyway. Hmm. What should we do? And when I see the name Archfiend, I think of Yu-Gi-Oh for some reason. It's Damn it. Always, it's always so difficult to change your first impression of a person, isn't it? It can be, yes. Yeah, because sometimes your first impressions aren't always the best. Okay. Just like Papa's. <laughs> I like some of the shop names. I, I can't help it. <laughs> oh, hey, Joshua. What's up? Oh, you, per, you mean Perichi? Uh, well, I don't think he's talking about Zelda. Oh, she's right here. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is kind of funny. I heard there's a mountain of treasure. Is it here? We were just in there. Weren't we just th oh, yeah. in the treasury inside Mua Castle? Was she not paying attention? Yeah. And? Oh boy. <laughs> and? Huh? Huh? Come on, Roddick! Oh, you can be the first. Oh, bro! Oh, <laughs> Even Felicia knew where to draw the line, girl. Let's go get it. Uh, that'd be a crime, Parichi. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. We're busy doing the doing good good guy stuff. We can't go stealing people's crap. Exactly. That's not doing the time. What are you trying to mime? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, stop trying to rhyme. Didn't Why? You, never mind. I think it's sublime. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a rapper. You are too white to be a rapper. Oh, stand his rhymes. Down, do kitty. You, do you hate me, Ronnie? No. Question. Oh well, let's give it a shot. That doesn't enter the equation. Oh well, let's give it a shot. Oh no. Well, I suppose we could go inside and ask at least. Yay! Oh, brother. Oh, I she's just child. She's, she's like a fan girl. It, well, that's what fan girls are. They're children. Oh wait. <laughs> anyway. Well, not all of them are. Well, charity of a child. How's that sound? Yeah, mentality. Yeah. One of my friends was supposed to be sleeping hmm? around here. Your friend. Oh dear. Yeah, he's stubby and chubbling and bubbly and likes two scoops of ice cream. And he's a rabbit too. Where have I heard that before? Chubbly? Chubbly. Uh, uh, you know, I think I've seen a statue like that before. Bingo. He gets all stone-like whenever he's. Ah. Uh, Let's go there. The tool shop owner in Hot hired me to transport it. I think. Let's go back to Hot and ask him. Okay. <laughs> Let's go find him already. Oh, uh, it was one of these two-part PAs. Oh, boy. Yes, it is. We had to go back to Hot and uh, go get it. But, uh... What about... Uh, yeah, I guess, we go, I guess we're going now so that we can uh, go ahead and get it. As you note, what, this, will be the, this, this is the last time we cross Mount Matorx, and thus... I, I should know. I should note this. Once you get the bunny whistle, you can bypass Mount Matorx altogether it, by entering it, and then uh, you go. You're immediately on the uh, on the other side. Okay. In short, you get to skip the whole mountain. 
any downsides to this? Well, downside is you can't tri you can't go over you can't go over the mountain. Oh, you mean the stubby little rabbit you mentioned in the Mua Castle Treasury? Yeah. <laughs> I think I know what that is. Let's go. And the co it, it, well, what do you expect? It's it's just like in Second Evolution, actually the the bunny whistle thing. Except it's well, Parichi is the only way to get it. Probably. You don't see many statues of ugly looking. So yeah, if you want ugly looking rabbits, all that you should not have said that. He's cute. Definitely sound like a fangirl. Cute. <laughs> well, don't don't mimic her. You're encouraging her. Oh, Adam, please stop standing awkwardly in my doorway. <laughs> Do you still have the sculpture I delivered here earlier? Uh, that big oh, thing in the back? Well, sure. But what's up? And how he's able to lift that? I have no idea. Bunny! Oh, God. Bunny? That's what it's a statue of. It's this a statue of a bunny. Friend. Can I have him back? Uh. Well, I can't just give it to you. Yes, you can. Come on, Bunny. Wake up! Ah! Wiki wiki eggs and bakey. Anyway. Bunny. Wee! Get me off, Jane, get me off this crazy thing. And that's no more random battles on the world map. <laughs> He's like, it moved. It's alive. I can't believe it. Or, wait, it's I don't believe it. Whatever. I don't believe it. Anyway, yeah, I don't like that. Cool. Well, hey, he gets us around. It's amazing. Look how fast he runs. And thus, funny races were born. Yeah. <laughs> what was that cute thing? Not sure if uh, Bunny was available in the original. He's stubby and and I don't think so. Considering that the world map back in the original wasn't really the world map, it, it, you, you pretty much uh, right, you're pretty much running it just like. Uh, you, uh, just like the, just like your traditional, um, like like in Zelda, for example. Jeez, I'm sorry. Every time she has a stupid description, I crack up, especially when people react to it. Like, what the fuck is she talking about? But yeah, in Star Ocean, um, Fantastic Space Odyssey, uh, the way you move out in the world map outside of towns, it's just like as if you're in a town yourself, or in a dungeon. So yeah, they didn't come up with the whole uh, actual world map thing until second story. Oh, no one in here. Oh yeah, I believe in this in this PA we also have um Oh, hey Ashley. Combat skills, they always come in handy. My uh, boy. Anyway, yes, we we're gonna talk to Parichi as well in the um at the pier. Cause she's still remembering what happened when we first met her. Anyway, uh... Ah, there she is. I don't see my friends anywhere. Come to think of it, I haven't seen any lesser fell pool besides you. I was traveling because I heard rumors about my friends, but then Velkin's gang kidnapped me. Well, that explains why she was there. Oh, where could my friends be? Where are your parents, Parichi? They're not dead, mommy but wanted me yeah. To send for myself, like a grown-up. They have to grow up sometime, Sorry, but geez, you need to be pushed right out of the nest. She right, left me give her that. She said I was old enough to handle myself. Hmm. Well, you can still go back to see her any time, right? Well, yeah. She's still alive, yeah. Ricky, your friends be? Who knows? Hmm, she avoided the subject. I'm not sure I like that. That doesn't sound good. Ah, oh, okay. What's up? Uh, shooting the breeze. Well, I guess that's the one thing about the star ocean. There's no breeze. Oh, well. Hey. Anyway. I, I guess you'd expect Castle Town to be pretty lively. If I remember... Oh, if I remember correctly, uh, there is a very funny PA here. Is this it? Nope, not, that's not the one. Oh wait, it's uh, yeah, actually, I think it's the next one after this. Oh, ooh. 
I I see hiding you. Off, somebody hiding off in the corner there. What? It's oh. me. <laughs> you found me. Oh, what, are we playing hide and seek suddenly? You need to tell me. I found you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Me? Um, oh, I was just wondering if you'd go find me if I turned up missing. Uh, really? Of course. Huh? Isn't it obvious? Of course I'd look for you. Okay. Really? Why, thanks. Oh yeah. Speaking of, of course. Did I ever tell you that about Bison's taunt in SF as Street Fighter Cross Tekken? I've seen the video of it, but for him, it was Tuesday. <laughs> that, that I just can't believe X Death, X Death, the voice of X Death saying that just blows my mind. <laughs> and thus, I, I always refer to him as Mr. Tuesday. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I believe. I guess Capcom doesn't forget these things. <laughs> of course. How do you well, keep they shouldn't. So beautiful, Mavelle. Oh, jeez. Your waist and legs are so thin. Uh, I've been a fan of yours from the first time we met. What do you expect? She's young. Uh, I'm Square Enix just really? encouraging these things. Shameful. No, Square Enix tries the whole thing. Are you on some secret special diet or something? Secret special diet. I can't even oh, imagine geez. we're both from the same world. Well, they are, actually. Well, sort of. Mm. Uh, not gonna go any further. I'm. Did I say something wrong? If you speak, to, you speak to either of them. No. Not at all. You'll lose affection points. So, Probably just butting in on the private conversation, they don't like that. No, they'll ask for your opinion. <gasps> oh, oh, that, oh, that's a death trap. Then, yeah, I see. Yeah, let's see. Yoshi was like, I hope, every time I go to a town, I'm always hoping I'll bump into my sister. Oh, now this is the awesome one. One of the best PAs in the entire game. Yeah, there was a picture book stuck in between the skill books. I remembered it from back when I was a kid. So I wound up reading it again. Are there any legends or fairy tales passed down in your world, Ilya? Millions. Oh, of course. Lots of them. Too many to remember. Really? Like what? I'd love to hear some. Hey, she tells a classic. Okay. Let me think of one you would like, Millie. How about the story of a prince? Ah, Cinderella. Oh, oh. To a handsome prince. <laughs> Cin Ooh, yeah. a prince. That sounds great. Yep, the story of Cinderella. <laughs> I hope I still remember it all. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a pretty sweet girl. But yeah, the ending of this is gonna make you laugh. Oh dear. Hmm. The girl starts a little rough, but don't worry, it gets better for. And after that, her stepmother and stepsisters began treating her like a maid. I guess why this is continued when we do another PA later in Crot. Like a peasant. Oh, that's You'll see. I just say, someone has a nightmare about it. The invitation arrived from the castle. The prince was holding a ball to seek a bride for himself. Ooh, a ball? How romantic! Uh, of course, every girl's the dream. Girl to attend the ball, but her wicked stepmother laughed at her. Ha! Huh, do you think they'll let you into the castle dressed in those pauper's rags? How could she be so mean? She's a stepmother. Oh, wait, that'd be speaking. She, of she's Maleficent. Oh wait, wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong. Fairy tale. Anyway, that that'd be speaking of my stepmother. Fairy godmother appeared and told her something amazing. Young girl, how would you like to go to the castle? Mm. A fairy godmother? Um. Well, I guess you could think of her as a very strange and mysterious woman who can make all your wishes come true. Hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I wish I could be a fairy godmother someday. It'll never happen. I don't think they exist in real life, sadly. They're just make-believe. But anyway, the fairy godmother cast a spell on a pumpkin and some mice who were nearby. Suddenly, the pumpkin turned into a coach. And the so mice far, so good. A of beautiful white She's remembering it all. Wow. No strange deviations yet. The girl couldn't believe her eyes as the fairy godmother then went on to transform her rags into a stunning dress. She was already a beautiful girl, but with the new dress on, she looked every She was going to be the belle of the ball. Princess. I have one more gift for you, the fairy godmother said. Now the these are every girl's dream. Thing. With that, she gave the girl a pair of glass slippers. I don't know, I'd be afraid of something happening Goodness, to the things. Glass is not beautiful. exactly known for being sturdy. Love to try some of those Unless on. it's like plexiglass or something. <laughs> I bet you would. I doubt there's a girl in my world who hasn't fantasized about that. Hmm. Anyway, the fairy godmother followed up the gift with a stern warning. Midnight my or GTFO. I mean, uh, yep. Make sure you return home not a single moment later. 
So it all disappears at midnight? Hmm. I thought magic was Well, there was a purpose behind this. Don't you worry. When the girl reached the castle, the other guests couldn't help but sigh at her dazzling beauty. The prince fell in love with her at first sight, and he immediately offered to dance with her. Hmm. I know not which kingdom does your presence grace, he said. But may I have this dance? Um, from the kingdom the of imagination land. Course, the girl shyly answered. It's a it's a good land, yes. But the evening flew by in a flash. Well, time flies by. We're having fun. The clock was already striking. Time. Oh no, she broke curfew. She's in trouble now. Oh, that's when her magic goes away, isn't it? Bingo. The girl ran out of the castle in a rush, but she lost one of her glass slippers in the process. That must have the been painful. Sense, but was left standing outside dumb Suddenly, uh, <laughs> and if you remember from the movie, she barely made it home. That's terrible. Several days later, a royal messenger arrived at the girl's house. The prince is searching for the owner of this glass slipper, he said. The one whom this slipper fits shall be chosen to become the prince. Because nobody bride. in the kingdom has feet nearly that small. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's perfect. <laughs> there couldn't be anyone else who'd fit in that slipper, could there? Ah, but the wicked stepmother and stepsisters locked the girl away from the messenger. The stepmother only allowed her own two daughters to try it on, claiming them to be the only maidens of the house. Oh, no! How could she? She can because she was the villain. She's that evil. The stepsisters tried to fit the glass slipper on their feet. Well, she's not known as a wicked stepmother for laughing, for, you know, for nothing. Smaller feet than theirs. It uh, was reminds me of what I've heard about the original fairy tale, which is not nearly as nice as the she Disney version. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let her try it on over in the other room. With that, they went inside. The stepmother uh, what? took the toes off of one of her daughters to make oh, the Oh, God. That, that is part of what. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. The they were desperate. Put the slipper on her smaller foot and went back to the messenger. This must be the one the messenger. How would the toes not be bleeding to death right about now? Let's give me the feet. Or either way. <laughs> <laughs> a little bird exclaimed, "She's a fake." The messenger took another look. Ew. Ooh, okay, so that's how. Oh. So the original ones are a little rough. Like that. That's why Disney toned it down, and they had the right of it, in my opinion. There's, there's still more. Sister, the messenger decided to return to the castle. Suddenly, he heard someone exclaim, Wait! Amazingly enough, it was the girl, still locked inside the house. And when she tried on the slipper, it was a perfect fit. The messenger was overjoyed. He placed the girl on a coach to the castle, and she and the prince were soon married. Oh, and they lived happily. And suddenly she's all she's all good bed. again. Yeah. Oh yes. Her stepmother and wicked stepsisters were at the ceremony, of course. But the little bird who warned the messenger... Oh, yes! Poetic justice, but it's a little too violent for everyone. Ah, stop <laughs> saying things like that. <laughs> it's part of the story, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Amelia's like, ha! <laughs> nice. At least she's brave of tell like it is. I'll give her that. Troll. So there's more of that story that seems, isn't there? I hate scary stories! <laughs> the, the Disney version will be just right for you, then trust me. Oh jeez, I'm from once I'm gonna side with Disney uh, changing up a fairy tale because that'd have been a little too much for the kiddies. Indeed. Anyway, see telling her kids to slice up their feet just to fit in the friggin' slipper. Ugh, I'm yeah. sorry, that just gets me every time. See you in part twelve for the next part with less violence.